Hello, Skepticality listeners. This is Susan Gerbeck from the Gorilla Skepticism on Wikipedia and Skeptic Action Projects. This episode might be a little random, as there are several things I need to mention that are happening in the world of Wikipedia. But first, some updates. My team just released Dr. Eugenie Scott's page in Spanish, and the Dutch team released several new pages, one for Lawrence Krauss, Pascal's Wager, Neil deGrasse Tyson, and the Scotsman Archie Cochran. As you've heard me say many times, our intention is not only to improve scientific skepticism on Wikipedia in all languages, but to have the backs of our spokespeople in all languages. Krauss will soon be in a movie with Dawkins called The Unbelievers, and Tyson's Cosmos series will be released in 2014. I'm hoping when these are released, the public will turn to Wikipedia to learn about these people, and we want to be waiting for them with well-written articles that show their involvement in our community. These are our people, and we need to have their backs. Being a worldwide teen has a lot of benefits. We can watch a page 24 hours a day. When someone in our community is thrown into the mainstream public's view, we need to be on top of it. Sometimes vandalism may not be so obvious, and things might get added that someone else not as motivated as we are would not notice. Reporters scrambling to meet deadlines lift text from Wikipedia articles and paste them into their news stories. If they get it wrong, we might get them to retract it. But in the meantime, lots of people would have received bad information and would have a life of its own that might take years of work to undo. Again, this is another aspect of watching our people's backs. Speaking of which, my team has asked me to mention that most times I highlight the more amazing page rewrites and creations here on Skepticality. They think that I'm frightening you off from joining. Yes, creating a page is a lot of work. Well, actually, I think it's a lot of fun, but it is time consuming. And translating does take a bit of specialized skill like knowing another language well enough to be able to translate it. We have room for all kinds of editors, people to do proofreading, caption videos, research, listen to interviews, and backwards editing. It can take some time to get trained, but we train in groups and everyone is very nice and patient. Once you have enough training to be left on your own a bit, we can find something important for you to do, depending on your time availability and level of skill. Don't let me intimidate you away from this project just because it seems daunting. Also, we have just moved into our custom design forum and away from the Facebook private groups we have been using for over two years. Now it will be much easier to search, discuss, train, and stay organized. Plus, now there's no barrier between the languages. People can freely move around inside the groups. And this is a great way to brush up on that second language you've allowed to languish. If you haven't participated in a skeptic camp yet, you need to find one nearby or start one and get signed up to give a lecture. It's a great way for new people to dip their toes into the public activism pond. I gave my first lecture on guerrilla skepticism on Wikipedia in Fort Collins, Colorado in 2010 at a skeptic camp. In fact, one of my editors, Rick Duffy, wrote the Wikipedia page for skeptic camp, and it was translated by Luis Garcia Castro into Spanish, and just in the last few days, Philippe Russo has just finished with the new Portuguese page. Just in case you're hearing this in time, The New Hampshire Skeptics will be having a Skeptic Camp this Saturday, October 12th, and one of my editors, Steve Lundquist, will be speaking about Skeptic Action in the Wikipedia Project. Amanda, another of my editors, will be speaking about guerrilla skepticism on Wikipedia at the Australian Skeptics National Convention, November 22nd through 24th in Cambria. And lastly, I just got word that the German convention SkepCon, held in May 2014 in Munich, wants us to speak about the Wikipedia Project. My German language team leader, Michael Steinkellner, will be giving the honor of addressing this group. And I'm green with envy. But I will be getting my 15 minutes too. You can find me and my bald green head speaking at the CFI Summit the last weekend of October in Tacoma, Washington. Write to us at gsowteam at gmail.com. Thank you.